I want to talk a little bit about classes as they are very important in object-oriented programming. Now, if you try to learn object-oriented programming, you might have heard the term classes are blueprints for creating objects. So let's take a closer look what that means. So here I'm going to create a new C-sharp script and I'm going to name it player. And since we are going to create games here, this is a really nice example of how can we demonstrate what that actually means when we say a class is a blueprint for creating objects. So I'm going to open my player script here and I will delete all of these functions that we have here. And I'm also going to delete this here, which indicates that we are inheriting from mono behavior. We are going to take a look at inheritance a little bit later. But now I have my player class, because as I said, we are going to build a game. We need a player. Now, what is a blueprint for creating objects? Where, well, excuse me, for example, our player is going to have a name and our player is going to have power and our player is going to have health. So all of this is going to be modeled in a class, which is that blueprint. So here I can create an integer and I can name it health and it's equal to, let's say, 100. And also an integer, I can name it power, is equal to, let's say, 150. And a string name, which is equal to, let's say, warrior. So this is what we mean when we say a blueprint for creating an object. Now, in order to create an object, we need to have a constructor. A constructor is the same thing as a function except that we are using the name of the class. So we are going to say here public player, but the difference between a constructor and a function, we are not going to use a void or nor we are going to use any other variable because a constructor does not return anything. We just use it to initialize our variable. What this means? Well, practically here we have health, power and name. But what if we want to change all of this? Or what if, for example, here we only have declared these variables, but we need to initialize them? Well, we can do that in our constructor. So here I can use the health variable and it's equal to 100. I can use the power variable, which is equal to 150. And I can use the name variable, which is equal to warrior. And in order to see that this actually works, I'm going to use debug.log. And here I'm going to say player created. And here I am going to say comma health. And I'm going to say plus health. And here I'm also going to add his power and his name. So let me just type plus and power plus and here I'm going to say power and lastly plus name and semicolon and plus name. So we are going to see it when we create our player. Now how can we actually create create our player? So now we have this blueprint. So this here what we have created this is a blueprint. So we have the health power and the name and now we want to create a player. How can we do that? Well, we have the constructor that's going to initialize these variables and now we simply need to call that constructor. So we can go in this other script that I have created this run game and in the start function here we can simply say player and I can name it warrior is equal to new player. So new player. And this is it. This is how we create a, an object from a class. So this is a class. And this is an object from that class. And notice we are using new player, which is the name of the script, but we are calling our constructor. So using this new player here is actually going to call this constructor. And if I go back now in my Unity editor and I have attached this run game on our game manager, 
If I run the game now, we are going to see player created, health 100, power 150, and name warrior. So this is how can we create objects from classes. Now these constructors, they can also have parameters. So here I can say, for example, so I can say here int power, int health, or first I'm going to say health. So health, int power, and string name. So what we can do here is I can say this dot health is equal to health that we are passing. So let me just say here health. And this dot power is equal to the power that we are passing as an argument and this and this not string. So this dot name is equal to name. This refers to this class right here. So saying this dot health this means this class's health variable is equal to the health variable, which is this one right here. If here I put S, then I can say here is equal to S. So this is just an example to show you what it actually means. And now when we create our player, we can add these parameters directly here. So we can go here and we can say for the health, let's say 90 for the power 120 and for the name let's say warrior and let's create another player warrior so I'm going to name it warrior 2 and let's say his health is 20 and his power is 50 and his name is killer for example and now if I go back in my unity editor and if I run the game now we see that we have created our player health 90 power 120 name warrior and we have created another player health 20 power 50 and his name is killer so this is what it means to create an object from a class and this is how can we model a certain object in a class of course we have covered functions so we can use functions in our class so I can say here public void and I can say info so info about the player and here I can use my debug.log so instead of our using it in our constructor I'm going to use it here and here I can say this dot health and this dot power so on and so forth so this dot power plus this dot name and how can we call this function here well actually we can simply do it like this so we have created our variable oh, excuse me variable our variable warrior so i have a combined variable and warrior in one so it's a variable and now that we have created it we can simply say our warrior dot info and it will call that function so let me just comment this out and we are going to see that when I run the game now nothing is going to be printed in the console which we see here so nothing is printed in the console I will just remove this warning here but if I remove this so if I remove the comment from the info and if I go back here and run the game we see that player is created health 90 power 120 and his name is warrior so this is how can we call functions using well these objects that we create and this is the basics of how can we model our objects using our classes so here we have in health power string name we can initialize all of this in our player or in the constructor so if you have here another name so i don't know if you say for example warrior so now you will change the name of the constructor to warrior so on and so forth so you get the concept practically using this class here then you can model whatever you want you can put functions you can put here variables so on and so forth and you can use the constructor to initialize all of these variables of course you can also access these variables from this object here but they are private because we did not put anything here is the same as if we declare them to be private but we can put them to be public and now we can also go here and i can say warrior.health and i can access his 
health variable and you can also change it modify it so on and so forth but that's not the proper way to do it the proper way is to create getters and setters which we have also covered in previous c sharp videos but this is the foundation how you can use classes to model your objects and you are going to use the constructor in order to create these well objects and of course the beauty of it you can not only create one player you can create multiple play players as we just saw earlier so you can simply copy this here and you can create another player so let's say with 20 health warrior 2 let's say 50 power and his name is warrior 2 or killer or any other name that you want so that's the basic or that's the idea behind a class being a blueprint for creating objects so you can model one class and create as many objects as you want and after that you can use them as variables you can also declare them here so you can declare them here and simply then use them as a global variable in the whole class so you can now use this warrior in the update or in any other function because it's a variable declared here and you can also use warrior dot and then you can access the functions public functions and public variables so as i said this is the foundation between using a class to model your well objects and then create them using your constructor